All right, guys and gals, this is the five month review update for the area um, steel toed work boot. Um, it's actually five months to the day, and I did not plan that. I've been meaning to do this review for quite some time, and I've just been so damn busy. Um, I got a ton of content I want to get up, but just a lot going on this summer. So anyways, we'll hop into it. Um, I did have a viewer wanting to know about this mink oil that I was using. Um, and I don't know how much I really have left. I got enough. Um, he was worried about it changing the color of the leather when you apply it. And... You know, you got to do your own research. I didn't um, see what's recommended by Ariad or if anything even is. But um, this is what I put on it. Let's see if you can see that. Um, and it's held up great. It's, it's still wicking water, kind of beading up on the surface a little bit. Um, I've had these things soaking wet and um, my socks have never gotten wet. So... Um, just a little background, if you didn't watch the first video, this is the first boot, like cowboy boot style, I guess you would say, that I've had and worked in. So I've used whites and danners and, um, regular hiking boots, keen hiking boots and, um, some different ones and, you know, they're, they're all okay. I guess um, I'm not saying anything bad about whites or danners or anything like that. I love whites, but um, my ankles, there's not a whole lot of ankle support in those boots for me. I I feel like I have a, a really high tendency of rolling my ankle when I'm wearing those boots, so I, I just don't. Um, these have not been that way at all. Um, back behind me on the board... These weren't really for you to read, although I know you can read them, but they're more just notes for me. But um, these are some of the things I like about the boots. I really don't have any complaints. The only complaint I would have, and it's not the boot's fault, but one of my left foot must be slightly smaller than my right foot. So my left foot moves a little in the boot, <clears throat> and it gets a little sore from time to time. So... Um, the right foot fits great, um, and so I, I don't have any complaints. That's not the boot's fault. Um, so, anyways, yeah, besides that, they're comfortable as hell. Um, love the steel toe, um, especially working construction and dirt work and outside and whatever around heavy things. Um, you know, I've... I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, steel toes will smash your toes off. Well, if it's that fucking heavy, if you didn't have steel toes, your your damn toes would be smashed off anyways. So who the hell cares, you know? Um, um, they do have the electrical, I don't even remember what it's called now, electrical safety um, certificate or some shit where they're um, okay to be worn around electricity <laughs> I guess I don't know what the hell that means but so anyways um steel toe they're comfortable as hell uh, I put waterproof they probably claim that they're water resistant but like I said I haven't had my feet get wet in them thus far um the traction is great um I don't know how much you can tell right now but there's minimal wear up at the toe which I'm not sure why that is. Um, everywhere else, a little on the heel right here, but you really can't tell. I mean, it, it's been five months, but and I've worn these things all, practically every day. And so they definitely have been um, worked in. Um, the leather is holding up, I would say, well. You know, I mean, if you use... A pair of boots every day I mean you're gonna scuff them up you're gonna scratch them it's just gonna happen so I mean 
there are some minor scuffs on the toes. Um, you know, I guess I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I would I would say I can't even remember what the hell I paid for them. Hundred and forty seems like is what I'm remembering. Maybe somewhere around there. I mean, if you could get a year, a year and a half would be better out of a pair of boots. Two years would be great, but. Um, you know, working every day outside in the elements and, you know, all the shit that, um, construction and ranchers and, um, excavators and whomever, you know, if you're working outside in the elements in them, that's pretty good, in my opinion. You know, that, that is a lot of money, but to have a good pair of boots goes a long ways. So, um, the traction's good. It's marginal on wet surfaces, which, um, you know, everything's going to have its limitations. Um, I guess it's something you just have to be aware of and be cautious of. Um, if it's, you know, they probably wouldn't be good for running logs in the woods when they're wet and shit, but, you know, they're probably not meant for that anyway. So, um, the no time, no laces are great. That's like one of the best things I like about them and I'm I'm not lazy I just don't like I don't like that around my ankles and just having to act like I you know I just don't like lacing shit up and um so yeah that's it um like I said I was going I'm going to um put some oil on here um specifically for the viewer that was kind of worried that that would change the appearance too much and i understand that you know you know you get a pair of boots and you want to um see them maybe i used this last time i don't know but i have i'll use them both they're both mink oil this one's old as hell but whatever um you know i'm not too like yeah, I could, I'll oil these today and let them dry tonight. It's real hot where I am in Montana right now, it's summertime. So, um, you know, a couple of days on the job that it, it won't, you won't be able to tell. I mean, they'll look new for till lunchtime tomorrow, but, um, other than that, so maybe we'll put a little bit of this one on first. Cause I know you can still get this stuff. So I like to work it in to the laces, or not the laces, the stitching. Um, stitching is a little frayed on top, but not that bad. Um, I'm contemplating, um, I don't know, um, I was trying to think of the channel, this Austin Ross, I believe, makes welding videos. Um, he puts super glue on the threads of his work boots. I've been thinking about that. Um, I guess if I have a problem with these, I might on the next pair, but so far I haven't had any problem. Um, so I like to work it into the sole here with this toothbrush. Definitely get plenty on and then I wipe it off when I get done probably could have wiped them off first but <clears throat> and then I go around all the stitching pretty much use the toothbrush for everything I just feel like it works in there better um, So I know this isn't a, a great example of how dark they'll get since they're not new, but um, you know I'd say they're about this color right here is probably your best example still of what color they 
or so yeah I would say it's gonna darken them quite a little bit I know I put in the comments of that last video that it was minimal but now that I'm seeing it firsthand again um, it is darkening them quite a bit but like I said it's you know they'll it'll soak in and if it's you know they're gonna get dusty and sawdust and dirt and probably by tomorrow evening they won't be that dark at all and I would I would say you know depending on the use and definitely how much wet conditions you're in um, I try to you know at least get them oiled good twice a year maybe you know uh, you know I guess you'll have to use your own judgment if um, you know they're looking like they need it give them some I don't worry about the top as much I still like to do it but obviously your pants are over that I don't like to wear my pants inside my boots so all that will get covered up so there you go I still have enough of this for the next one so I don't think this one's gonna make any difference and I'm sure that shit's 40 years old I got it from my grandpa so um, Just wipe any excess off here. And there you have it. So from that to that, hopefully you can see that well enough. It's kind of dark down here in my man room. So, I guess that'll do it. Hopefully that um, was informative to whomever gives a shit. But, um, yeah, I would highly recommend the boot. Um, I love them. I'll definitely be buying another pair, so hopefully they don't go changing the style on me too much. That's always a pain in the ass when... You get a good pair of boots and then by the time you're ready for another one they've redesigned them or some shit like that but anyways we'll keep it short and sweet and um yeah i think that's all i got for you um i'll definitely try to um i won't try i will do you know about a year update on them <clears throat> and then for sure when they're wore out tell you guys how long they last but um yeah, if you guys uh, need any more information or questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.